Hello there. This is the family doctor. Please. Well, how are you, Rip? Howdy, Doc Adams. Oh, I'm pretty good, I reckon. Kind of nervous, though. Nervous? Why? Well, if you was running for mayor of Chittenden, wouldn't you be nervous, wouldn't you? N- nervous? <laughs> I'd be crazy. <laughs> well, what have you got on your mind, Rip? Well, I'll tell you, Doc. Have you uh, heard that I'm going to have a political rally tomorrow night? Yes, I heard that. Over at the PDOW Lodge Rooms, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's where it's going to be. And, uh, Doc, I want you to come over and... Introduce me. Introduce you? Why, Rip Bliss, what are you talking about? Everybody in Cedarton knows you. Well, yeah, yeah, I suppose I do, but I understand that all good, well-regulated political rallies has to have somebody to introduce the main speaker, which is I. Oh, I see you. Well, all right, Rip, I, I, I can't see any harm in that. Oh, Doc Adams, that's mighty nice of you. I should say it is. With you introducing me and you up there on that platform, I... Well, I think I'll have a might more confidence than I would have had otherwise. Of course, Rip, I, I'm not saying that I'm going to vote for you in the election or whether I'm going to vote for Mayor Trowbridge again. Well, no, I know you ain't, but that's up to you. All I want is that you should be there at my rally. <laughs> All right, then, Rip, I'll be there. <laughs> What is it? Uh, Chief Police Benson's here to see you, Mayor Trowbridge. Oh, yeah, yeah send him in. Uh, go right in, Chief. Uh, thanks, Wilbur. <coughs> well, good morning, Your Honor. <coughs> uh, sit down. Uh, <coughs> you uh, have something on your mind, Mr. Mayor? Something on my mind? Of course I have something on my mind. <coughs> uh... Who are you going to vote for in this election, Bill? Uh, who, who, me? Oh, well, you, of course, Mayor Trowbridge. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> well, you'd better, because, uh... I'm going to be the next mayor of Cedarton again, oh, and uh, sure. if you give me any cause to think that you're voting for that nincompoop Rip Bliss, you'll be back to digging potatoes like you was when I made you chief of police. Oh, oh now, Mr. Mayor, I, I sure hope you wouldn't think I'd do a thing like that. No, sir, not William Quincy Benson. I am loyal to those as my friends, and I'm a friend in need, as feller says always. Yes, sir. All right, then. <laughs> Now, uh, Bliss is having a meeting over at the lodge rooms tomorrow night. Yeah, I sure have heard. Well, uh, you and me's going over there. Huh? What? You going to attend Rip Bliss's rally? Yes, I am. There's a few questions I want to ask Rip, and oh. after I ask them, I think those good citizens of Cedarton who will be attending his meeting will uh, realize mighty quick that Rip better stick to selling groceries and leave the polit... Uh, <clears throat> I mean, the statesmanship to me. Yeah, yeah, I understand, Your Honor, but uh, <clears throat> what do you want me there for? You ain't backing out on me, are you? Uh, oh, me? Oh, no, 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 sir. I- I'll be there all yes, right. You bet you will. Yes, yeah, mm-hmm. sir. <laughs> well, that's a good one, all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you laughing at? Uh, who, uh, who, me? Oh, oh nothing. No. Well, then shut up and get out. I've got some work to do. I, I've got to figure out some questions to ask Rip Bliss. <laughs> distinct honor to present to you a man who really needs no introduction. So 
without further preliminary observations, I take great pleasure in bringing before you one of the two candidates for mayor in the forthcoming election, Mr. Rip Bliss. <laughs> Listen to them, the fools. Wait till I get through with Rip, and then they won't yell so loud for him. My friend? <coughs> Pardon me. My friend? <clears throat> In coming here before you tonight, I want to lay before you the platform on which I'm running my campaign. What are you going to do about taxes? What? Oh, taxes. Well, I'll get around to that item a might later. Yeah, yeah. Now, first, I want to take up the subject... Are of... you going to see to it that the new high school is built? Eh? High school? Well, now, I had thought of mention that a little later on, but now that the subject's been brought up by our mayor, I'll talk about it right now. I'm for the high school. Yeah? Well, how is the city going to pay for it? As I say, I'm for the high school. I believe Peterson should build a new high school right away. I I believe we should have all the latest equipment to teach our... Answer to... my question. How is Cedarton going to pay for a new high school? Pay for it? Well, naturally, Mr. Bliss. A building costing $25,000 has to be paid for. Now, uh, how are you going to propose to liquidate that debt? Well, uh, <clears throat> of course, uh, that's really got to be taken up uh, later by the city council. But <clears throat> uh, but uh, if I was going to make any recommendations, I'd suggest that a new tax... Aha! Uh-huh. A new tax. May I be allowed to read one paragraph from a piece of your campaign literature, Mr. Bliss? Put out by our very good friend, the editor of the Post Bugle, Mr. Amos Day. And now you listen to me, Mark Tobridge. I've stood for about enough of your sarcasm, and I don't have to stand up here and answer any more of your fool questions. And what's more, I've started out to conduct this meeting peaceably and quietly, and if you can't sit there and listen to what I've got to say, you can get out of this hall. I'm ready this for tonight, and by golly, I'm going to run this meeting the way I want to run it. Now, you get out! Oh, my God. Now, Gavin, I... Now, now, look what I've gone and done. I've... What do you mean, Rip? Oh, I mean the way I let Mark Trowbridge make fool of me down the hall last night. Why, he didn't make a fool of you, Rip. Well, maybe. Of course, you know that he's... Having a rally at the hall tonight himself. Yes, I know. You going, Doc? Oh, well, yes, I sort of thought I might. Do you, uh, do you think I should go, Doc Adams? No, Rip. No, I don't think you should go. Yeah, I was afraid of that. But I think Dunk Webb should go. Dunk Webb? Why, he's just the kid that works for me in my store. I know. Why, he ain't even of legal age, can't even vote. I know that, Rip. But listen, how does this sound to you? <laughs> Chief of Police of the Fair City of Cedarton, it is my honor right now to introduce to you the man who for four long years has held the high and mighty office of mayor of our town, who is here to appeal to you for your votes to save Cedarton from the scrap heap. <laughs> friend, I give you our honored friend, our royal comrade in arms, our esteemed mayor, Mark Trowbridge. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Last evening, as many of you know, my opponent held forth in his very same auditorium. At that time, with his permission, I had the rare privilege of asking him a few questions. <laughs> Among the questions I asked him was this. What are you going to do about taxes? Did he answer that question? No. Then I asked him a most pertinent question concerning a subject which is very near and dear to the hearts of all of us at this time. Are you going to see to it that the new high school is built? Was he able to answer that important question? No. Then I asked him how Cedarton was going to pay for the new high school. Was he able to answer that one? No. He mumbled something about referring the matter to the city council or something about a new tax. A new tax indeed. 
Now, I'll tell you how to pay for that new high school and not raise taxes one mill for the next year. How are you going to do it? Cedarton will have its new high school, all right, but we're going to float a bond issue. Yeah. Now, do you suppose Rip Bliss has ever heard of a municipal bond issue? Mr. Bliss, as we all know, is the proprietor of the largest grocery store in Cedarton, and no doubt he knows all about soap and vegetables and meat uh, and Mr. staples Trowbridge. and... Uh, Mr. Trowbridge. Uh, and, uh, well, what is it? What, what are you interrupting me this way for? Uh, Mayor Trowbridge, do you know who I am? Oh, of course not. Why should I? Not run along, run along. But, well, uh, uh, well, I'm Dunk Webb. I deliver groceries for Mr. Rip. Oh, oh I, I... Yes, I see. Uh, well, uh, what is it you want? Well, I've got a bill here for $72.50 that you've owed Bliss as grocery for five months. What? 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 Well, how dare you, you little meddlesome... Uh, can you give me the money, Mr. Uh, Trowbridge? Oh, this is an outrage. Of, of course I can't give you the money right at this moment. I'm... Well, uh, <clears throat> Mr. Bliss and me, well, we was wondering if you thought you might raise a bond issue to pay well, this bill. Uh, you see, it's oh, only $72.50. This is awful. Cents. This is an outrage. Benson, do something about this. I, I'm ruined. Benson, where are you? Benson, where's my thing? Now, Rip, quit walking up and down like that. Well, why don't they call us and let us know? I can't stand this waiting much longer. Now, patience, Rip. It won't be long now. They must have counted the ballots by now. Ah, that must be it. Hello? Yes? Yes, yes, let's go ahead. <laughs> what is it, Doc? What is it? Oh, hush, Rip, hush. Hello? Yes? All right. Thanks, Alice. Well, Rip... Yes. You're the next mayor of Cedarton. Huh? What? I... Oh. Mayor Rip Bliss. <laughs> well, Rip, I guess we sort of put it over that time, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we? Oh, no, Doc Adams, it was you, and you don't have any idea how grateful I am to you, Grant. Really, I don't know how to reward you. Reward me? Why, I don't want any reward. I just did what I thought was best for the town, that's all. Oh, but I appreciate it, Grant, more than anybody else. And you know what I'm going to do? No. What are you going to do? Well, I'm going to appoint you chief of police of Cedarton. What? Oh, yes, no, sir. I'm going to make you chief of police of Cedarton. You can't do that. Chief of police of This is the family doctor. I'll be in to see you again right soon. Goodbye.